Hey guys, it's me here back with another video. Hold up, bless you one. I was looking good there. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school emergency kit for girls. So this is specialized for girls because I got a few things in here for you guys that you definitely de that you guys will definitely need. So before this video gets started, here are the comments of the day. Thank you guys for commenting. I love when you guys comment. It just like makes my day better and I just get to see how you guys really feel about my videos. So the comment for today is, what is one thing that you need in your emergency kit? Don't forget to subscribe, be part of the Mika's Mika's is gonna rule the world. Mika stands for more video interesting, kind, amazing, all those can be. All you gotta do is subscribe, you guys are subscribers to me, you guys are Mika's and you can't spell sprinkle without Mika. So before the video gets too long, let's get it started here. So the first thing, of course, I want to talk about are these things, ladies. I don't like wearing tampons because it's like my preference and I just cannot do tampons. Like, they scare me. But making sure you have extra tampons or pads in your emergency kit is very important. This is the first one because it's the most important one. For me, my period is all over the place. Like, I don't get it on the exact day at all every month. Like... It's crazy. I remember I started on the first of the month on the first day of school and now I'm towards the end of the month and it's so annoying. Like, it never comes the right day. So, making sure you have pads. Okay, so these pads, I think my mom got from King Supers and these are the Koger kind. These are the maxi pads, um, long super, and I like long length ones just because I feel protected. And I even add two, so... You need these the next thing i would say is extra pair of underwear but i'm not going to show you my underwear because that's kind of weird um of course don't bring your like cutest underwear like bring underwear that you think that you might get your period in or that you might just need extra underwear you never know next thing i have is some deodorant because girl you gotta smell fresh and on the first day of school i don't even know why but i'd be sweating the most and i'd be hating i'd be like why am i sweating so much like what is this so making sure you have some deodorant i really want to get new ones i want to get the cucumber dove deodorant that thing smells so good i used to have it and it like broke but now I just use this one. This is the Sweet Pea and Violet from Suave. But yeah, 24 hour protection. Get you some deodorant if you don't. Because there's going to be days where like you put on deodorant in the morning. And like you do not smell it halfway through the day. And you need that deodorant. You feel me? Because you can't just keep on spraying perfume on perfume. And if you have gym class, girl, you need some deodorant. Simple as that. We're not going to explain none else. If you like do after school or before school practices for your sports or anything like that, you're going to need it. The next thing are medicines. And boy, these are the two medicines that I take during my period. I don't know about you guys, but this is what I take. So I take ibuprofen and then I also take magnesium because it helps. So like these medicines just depend on you or pills or whatever. So like whatever you need for your period or whenever you get headaches or whenever you feel nauseous or whatever. Maybe you get stomach aches, you need those, um, those like drop stomach drop, i don't know or cough drops like i said just depends on you but these are the pills that i use when i get my period and i keep them in my emergency kit. the next thing that i have for you guys is chapsticks and lip glosses so i don't know how many times you're gonna be putting this on because of like corona and like covid that's the same thing because of covid and like school and all that great stuff but i like my lips glossy and juicy you feel me so this is just a con candy chapstick that i have and it smells so good and then i just have these two lip glosses and these are one of my favorites but i want to start making my own lip glosses and selling my own lip glosses and stuff like that so once i get the supplies for that <laughs> it will change but right now i am obsessed with the broadway rose visit lip rose ship Rose Ship Oil Lip Gloss, and this is the um, Broadway Vita Lip Mint Oil Lip Gloss. And I got these from the Dollar General for a dollar. On Amazon, they're selling like four of these for like ten dollars. Cannot be me. I don't know about you guys, but I like to smell good. So, um, I have to get.
get more smaller perfumes, but the only smaller perfume I have right now is Kisses by Rihanna. If you've ever smelled her perfume line, girl, it smells so good. But my favorite, favorite one is either Crush or... But right now, I just have this small one to show you guys for an example. Then I have some oil. I don't have, like, a small lotion so that's one of the things that i do need to get because your girl be getting ashy i live in a place where ash is just normal and i cannot be looking dry crusty and rusty and dusty but this is a oils i don't know if you guys use oils but i like to use oils i have a little oil machine fog i don't know what you call it but i have a, a, a humidifier or something like that and i like to put oils but this one is the awake oil so like you would probably just like roll it right here Mmm, this will keep me awake, baby. Of course, the next thing is a mask. Keeping an extra mask if you forget it or it gets dirty or something happens, you accidentally throw it away. I don't know. You misplace it during a class, put that extra mask on, and good thing you got it. You know, you don't want to be borrowing anybody else's mask. Like, you know what I'm talking about when you're like, hey, do you have an extra mask? Like, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. A necessity and these are hair bands I got some long ones and some short ones because you don't know what type of hairstyle you have that day you might need it and don't get just one get a couple because of course you're gonna be using it losing it and all that great stuff the next thing are some floss after lunch after you eat something you don't want to be that person who have like the little um, food stuck on their teeth because it's just not cute it's not a look and a lot of times people will not say a word they'll just let you walk by or let you do your assignment or let you talk to them with food in the, your mouth and that's not cute make sure you got some mini floss next thing is for if you have contacts um i do so i keep an extra one of these just in case uh, my eyes hurt and i need to put these in here I, I would usually also have my glasses in my glasses case but i actually put that in my purse because it's like kind of big so just make sure if you have contacts get an extra pair especially because it has solution in it so if your contact pops out you could just rub it into the solution and then put it back into your eye and then the last thing that i have for you guys is um like hair pins and hair clips there's a piece of hair falling out getting that hair clip or hair pin to put it back instead of having to redo your whole hair is a lot more easier the next thing i'm going to talk about is on my computer and these are the other necessities i feel like you need for your emergency kit that i like i said i don't have right now so the first thing we're going to talk about is mints. If you guys haven't seen my last video where I talk about um, my life hacks, go watch that. It'll be in the eye over here. But I mentioned that mints help you when you feel a little nauseous or you're feeling sick or you even have a headache or you need to focus more. So having mints in your emergency kit is very important. So I recommend that. Um, and I recommend getting it from the dollar store because if you get it from the dollar store, you can get a huge pack of mints. I don't use makeup wipes because that's me personally because I don't think it, they're good for your skin. But if you use makeup wipes for your makeup, I don't really wear that much makeup. But like I said, if you need them, go get them because, you know, your mascara might be running. Eyebrows might not be on fleek that day. You never know. If you really care about your makeup that much, you know, bring extra makeup. But me personally, I don't wear enough makeup to care about fixing my makeup if that makes any sense like the only things i literally do are my eyebrows but i don't even be really be caring about it that much um i put sometimes put on mascara and that and like highlighter lip gloss but like that's pretty much it um the next thing is hand sanitizer especially during this time get you a cute little hand sanitizer you know put that on Ba -ba -ba boom you know i like to use um bath and body works uh, hand sanitizers because they smell good and they pretty much last for like a month or like two months or just the pants but yeah they're like super small so you can put it in the emergency kit the one one dollar to five dollars just having like an extra few dollars into your emergency kit just in case like you go somewhere and you didn't know you had to pay for like a game I don't know if they're going to be having basketball games or football games, but like I said, this is just in case. Or maybe you're hungry and want to go to the um, vending machine. If you guys have vending machines, um, we do. I don't know if they're going to be working, but yeah. Another thing is a mini brush. That's self-explanatory. Whenever you need to fix your hair real quick or you see some, you know, want to puff out your hair or want to slick it down. Just depends on what brush you want and what type of hairstyles you mainly go for. Depends on what brush you're going to use. Okay, so let me just end the video here because my storage ran out. I've been having um, phone problems, but 
I just have to deal with it. But anyways, before we end this video, I just want to say, if you haven't, go check my description. Um, I went to school with this girl in middle school, and she has a black-owned business, and it's a small black-owned business that I would love for you guys to check out. She sells jewelry, lip gloss, um, personalized name keychains and stuff like that so it'll be in the description if you guys have any small businesses black owned businesses or have family members lip glosses lashes any of that put in the comments down below with the websites and i would love to check it out i would love to support and yeah so i talk guys later i love guys Bye.